Hi, I'm DJ Zimmy. At the beginning of September, I wrote an article on my website entitled The End of DJ. Maybe you read it, maybe you didn't, maybe you agreed with it, maybe you didn't. After about a week, it had been viewed over 100,000 times and I started getting messages from people all over the world. DJs who were younger than me, who had asked for advice, veteran DJs who thanked me for compiling everything that they had been thinking into one concise article for the general public to read. But what was most surprising to me was people who weren't DJs who reached out with tons of questions about DJing. They were intrigued about the DJ profession, the history of DJing, and lots of things just DJ related. At that point, I realized that while most people don't really have a lot of knowledge about DJing or DJs, everyone has their life touched at some point by a DJ. If you don't think a DJ has touched your life, think about this. On the weekend, if you go to a nightclub, DJs. If you go to a festival that has DJs on the lineup. If you have kids in middle school, high school, or college, and they go to dances at those schools. If you yourself are in middle school, high school, or college, there's DJs at those dances. If you listen to AM, FM, or satellite radio, DJs. The president has an official DJ. The NFL has an official DJ. Most major sporting teams have DJs at their events. Then I realized that while there are books and films about niche aspects of DJing or a sparse history of DJing, there aren't any films that comprehensively cover the history of DJing from the early 50s and 60s radio DJs up to today's festival DJs, superstar nightclub DJs, and the DJs that produce the hits that you hear on the radio. I decided I wanted to make a documentary that gave everybody a behind the scenes look at DJing, where we came from, where we are now, where we're going. All the good, all the bad. We're gonna be talking to DJs from all over the world. We're gonna be talking to party promoters, nightclub owners, average everyday people about DJing, what they know, what they don't know, what they think. We're gonna be working with some amazing DJs to help tell this story. We've already got a few on board. How you doing, yours truly, DJ Jazzy Jeff, coming to you live from my vinyl destination tour here in Europe. Well, my man DJ Zemi told me that he wanted to make a movie telling the story of DJ, and I got really excited. Basically because my web series, Vinyl Destination, was created to show people the ins and outs, the good and the bad, of traveling around the world as a DJ. And based off of all of the positive response that we've gotten, I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that really want to know what it's like being a DJ. I cannot wait for this film to be completed, and I want all of you to join me in supporting him on the project. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about this film project, please visit thedjdocumentary.com. You'll be able to read more about the story behind this film, follow the progress of the film through social media, and most importantly, support the film through a donation. I'll be making this film using my own dollars and your donations. I didn't want to involve big investors that might want to change the way this story is told. A $5 donation gets your name in the credits of the film, and a $10 donation gets you access to an exclusive behind-the-scenes production diary. The production diary will have notes, photos, videos, and other exclusive content for you to follow the progress of the film. Donations, as well as my own dollars, will be put towards travel expenses, film crews, legal costs, website development, music licensing, and post-production. The response to this project so far has been amazing. I have some huge interviews lined up and I can't wait to tell this story. If you have any questions, you can reach me directly through the DJ Documentary website. And I thank you again for supporting this important piece of music history.